Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead. I might be doing this a little too soon. I'm going ahead and I need to get me one of those micron pens. It's just like I've told y'all, you can't, I can't get stuff like that here because I live in the sticks. But I've gotten to where I can use any kind of a pen. This is a Uniball pen. It's got a real fine tip. I'm trying to show you here. Um, that's what I ink it with. I've got a zebra pen that I like to use too, but the tip of it's a little bit bigger. Okay, now. My stomach's growling. <laughs> I've already ate lunch. I don't know why it's growling. Okay, now for the sunflower, I want to go ahead and ink it in. Um, I'm going to use dark umber. And you know, some flowers, they're dark. Hang on just a second. I'm gonna re-ink my line drawing right there on the outside. So whenever I cut this out, I don't lose my line. Now. I'm kind of putting quite a bit of pressure. And guys, I too, I don't know if it's just a habit. Um. This is a sunflower, and automatically, I'm using circles for that watercolor pencil. That's, I don't know if... To me, if you make your strokes to kind of like how it would look anyway, um, cause you know, sunflower, it's kind of bumpy. You know, I wouldn't do that in the hair. See, when I'm in the hair, well, you see me, I'm coloring to follow the hair. I also use, uh, you know, cross hatching in the shadows, but sometimes when I'm on the face or something, like I'll start at the nose and I'll go like this. I don't know if it's because I, I used to teach anatomy and physiology at the college a pretty good while back. A lot of times, I, I think that's just habit. I follow how like the facial features, you know, kind of look like the noses. I always do this and lips. I follow, kind of like when you follow the grain of wood whenever you're painting. Um, if you go against the natural grain of it, it's going to look funny. But if you follow, you know, how it would look, um, normally, it'll look better. And take that shape. I might start, okay, now, this is the inside of the sunflower, and I used dark umber. I'm using sienna brown for the outside. And again, you know, they're kind of bumpy. A sunflower is. And if I don't like how that looks, I 
I'll just go over it till I like it. Let's see how it looks. I also, oh yeah, I think that would be nice. I'm also doing the paintbrush in circles too. I don't like how that looks right there. See, I'll go clockwise for a minute, then counterclockwise. Okay, I do like that. See, I know other people with watercolor and stuff like that, they can get the really cool effects and stuff like that with salt or uh, alcohol. I've just never had that much luck. Okay, now let me see. Yeah, I think I might use cream. Let me go ahead and you know, try to do some of the petals. I can already tell I'm afraid that spot right there is going to give me problems. I may have to paint over that with white acrylic. Hmm. I'm going to blow on that a little bit. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, that's going to give me a problem right there. See if it gives me a, if I think it's going to give me a problem. I may not finish a paint and I do that. I just got white acrylic and I'm going to try it. I'll have to let that dry for a few minutes so I'll be working somewhere else. Oh, sorry. see those colors blend nice together okay I'm just going to use the cream whoops for the sunflower petals that's WC 2914 but any kind of cream color and I'm putting it on pretty dark pretty heavy <sighs> see like with the petals See how I'm kind of following the shape of the petal. 
Now, if you hear it start thundering in a minute, oops, sorry, I keep moving away. Looks like it's fixing to come a real bad storm. But that's kind of okay. We really need the rain. Okay. Now, let me just get the white. This is just a white watercolor pencil. All this is Prismacolor. Just right in the center a little bit in a place or two. Okay, now I love this color blue. This is non-photo blue. I want to put a little bit of blue back in there like the sun. Or excuse me, the blue sky is back in there, see. I put it on pretty heavy. Again, that was non-photo blue. Okay. I'm going to do the petals first before I touch in that blue. times with that bristle paper if you make a mistake even with a pencil you can't fix it I may have to paint something right there Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the blue parts. That brush is not small enough. Even when I don't feel myself making these art trading cards, it takes me that that long too. Now I'll use that bigger brush. I'm going to go ahead and darken her lips. And I'm just going to use watercolor for that, this dark pink right there. Just dot it. Make sure you do not have water here on your paintbrush. Always make sure you have that water off because if it drops onto this, it will cause an effect that you will not like. Oh yeah, that looks better. Put a little bit in her eyes. I don't know why I'm whispering. Okay, now.
Now, I just want to say I'm using a bright yellow watercolor. Dipped and I'm dipping it in acrylic if you're wondering what I'm doing. See, sometimes if you're not careful, you can even just do something as simple as dropping your pen. On that vellum, and if it leaves a mark, well, you're going to have to keep painting over it till you can hide it. It's worrying me to death. Oh, well, now it's covering. See, sometimes it just takes a few layers. And of course, you need, I'm just using straight acrylic, I'm not dipping it. like a nice highlight effect. I will probably, I know you can't see it, but that sunflower's paler than I want it to be on the leaves. Let me see what, let me, you, let me see, the, here's canary yellow. Eee, that might be too even the sunflowers are bright. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. I need to let that dry though before I mess with it. Oh no, wait, that's cream. Even if that's too bright, by the time I get that blended in, I'll just take a light layer of a acrylic wash over the off top of that. That's just brown. The same, that light brown that I used in her hair to make a little bit of a shadow. Just lightly, watercolor. Oh, it's four o'clock. <laughs> That's just straight acrylic. Like I said, I always take my time on my little art trading cards because I love them and my customers love them and all of mine are one of a kind. I don't make prints of these. Mom? Yep. Where are you? I'm in here. Hang on. Okay. Now. Um, 
I am going to use purple. I don't know what I done right there, but this needs to dry, okay? This needs to dry for a few minutes. Oh gosh, she's gonna be quite pretty. Um. Okay real quick. Let me see. And, no, I don't like that color. Mm. Hang on. That's how come I leave myself some room. Oh yeah, I like that. I like these two colors. Okay, one's lilac and one's violet. I'll use the darker one. Now that violet is really violet. So, just a little bit of pressure once I get out of the shadow part. Okay. I'll do those real dark. Okay, now I'm gonna use the lilac or lilac, however you say it, wherever you live. I will also very, very lightly. Just a few streaks in her wings. Lightly, the lilac. Because I'll probably go over that with glitter. I love glitter. Okay. Now, that butterfly, I think I'll do it in blue. Okay, let me do this. Now at that point, I'm trying to lift a little bit of that color out. Oh shoot. Sometimes you just have to touch it with your finger. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Very lightly. Okay, I'm gonna toss it up a little here. No, not that color. Uh, 
I'm going to put just a touch of pink in her wings and right here. Kind of break it up a little bit. That brush is still just a touch wet. I didn't read it, but that's the same brush that I was using the purple with a minute ago. Oh, see that pink looks real nice. Just a little bit. Oh, that was a uh, blush pink. Okay, now I'm going to take a break and I'm going to let this dry and I'll come back.